Hello everyone, my name is Shem and welcome to Vivex Kitchen. This will not be the last video of the Blender Pipeline series, but I would like to switch later um, to another type of videos. But uh, before I switch to another video, there is something it's important to mention. Uh, because last uh, video I hard coded some kind of path inside uh, um, inside the Q Dark Style module that I wanted just to export the file, which works fine at this moment. But in general, no one should ever uh, hard code any path in pipelines. And if you think that people will just do something like Blender pipeline path and then they put down the directory of um, Blender path, that's totally bullshit. No one ever should do this. Uh, I will just save a file on the desktop for testing to explain what I mean. So. We, when we are working on the pipelines, we usually don't work on one file. So you cannot say, hey, that's like the main git of the pipeline and uh, you just start to inherit modules out of it. We do that sometimes, but um, we don't um, specify the path in every small module under it. So for example, if I'm creating a new tool, I will not hard code where is the Blender extender pipeline path. Um, so for this reason, there's the environment variables exist. Uh, environment variable, you can find it on your system here inside uh, environment variables. As you can see here, I have a Blender pipeline environment variable, which is looking into this path. Okay, so if I do command line and then I say echo Blender pipeline, it will give me this path. And that's how you should do it in your pipeline too. Um, you don't give any hard-coded path. And in some cases, if you want to move your whole pipeline from one server on the network to another server on the network, all what you need to update is this environment variable. And all the tools, all the other dependencies will automatically refresh using this new environment variable. Um, I'm going to show you now how we can retrieve this path from um, the environment variable using uh, Python. But first, because that's the thing I found, um, when I'm running Sublime in this way, it runs as an administrator account, not as my mhisham account. So these environment variables are specified for me as a user, but these ones are the system variables. So this one is like global, and this one is just local for my uh, and my user, but when I run Sublime, it's not it's running as an administrator, not running as um, mhisham user. So I will just do this in a vendor pipeline, and that's the path for it. Okay, so now it's in the system variables, and I will just get it from here. That's the correct one. Okay, and I need to restart Sublime, and that's it. So. To retrieve the environment variables that you have, you can just import the OS library and then you say os.getenv and then the name of the uh, environment variable. And in our case, it's like blender pipeline with no double n. So here, now I can just get rid of this one and say that's my blender pipeline path and let's just spread it out. So as you can see here, now it's looking for this one. So for example, if I'm trying to specify where is my Python modules folder, I will do something like this. I will say os.path.join, uh, and I will put that's the directory, that's the main directory. And for example, I'm looking for the Python modules. I will say this, Python modules, and we can print it out. So now that's the directory of the Python modules. But still, still uh, the main um, parent folder is uh, as an environment variable. This is quite okay. It's not. It's not. It's not bad to use it in that way. Uh, the same with add-ons or for specific uh, modules and so on. Just do not hard code anything. It's really painful to change later, and it grows up by time that you will create scripts and small tools and stuff. It will always have hard code stuff inside it. Another point, because I'm trying to fix the mistakes I did in the old videos, and uh, one of them was also not having a clear naming for um, the variables or for the classes names. 
uh, I would recommend to have a look over uh, the pip8 sty uh, scripting style style python okay so this is a guide for uh, how to rename your uh, functions, your variables, your classes, if you're going to use uppercase or lowercase, if you're going to use a camel case, um, how you should document your, um, your functions and so on. It really helps later if you want to use some kind of um, a tool to automate your um, documentation for the scripts or tools you have created already. There's tools like Sphinx, I think this was for C++, but there's a, f a Python uh, script that you can use and it will get every function you have and will copy um, the documentation around it and start to build an HTML clean page for each uh, function, what it takes as an input, what argument it gives, uh, uh, what its output and what argument it needs. Um, so that's, that's just important tips uh, to take care of while creating your own pipeline because it helps a lot to extend it later. So if I'm trying to create a new tool, I know that I have a Blender pipeline as an environment variable. I'll just have it and keep going on top of it. Um, so the goal is to make things work nicely, but not just work in the Because sometimes I'm not clear with what I'm saying. I, I, I know this. And when I watch my videos later, I feel like... So that was it for today. I know it's it's kind of short video, but I hope you enjoy it and thank you so much and see you next time. Now here comes the music. Boom 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 boom.